Hi, this is Zoe from Care Patron. Before you watch this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Stimulus discrimination is a critical concept in psychology that entails the ability to distinguish between different stimuli that might appear similar. This process is vital in learning and behaviour, where the individual responds to specific stimuli while ignoring others that don't have the same meaning. The essence of stimulus discrimination lies in classical conditioning, an essential learning mechanism. Imagine a scenario where the bell is rung consistently before presenting food to a dog. Over time, the dog learns to associate the bell sound with the impending arrival of food and salivates merely at the sound. However, if the dog doesn't salivate at other similar but not identical sounds, it demonstrates the phenomenon of stimulus discrimination. The dog has learned to differentiate the sound of the bell from other noises. In a clinical context, Stimulus discrimination is vital for patient care and therapeutic interventions. It enables healthcare providers to recognize and respond to specific signs, symptoms or behaviors, leading to more personalized and effective treatment. Understanding how stimulus discrimination works involves breaking down the process into defined steps. These steps provide a clear pathway for both learning and teaching this essential psychological concept. Identification of stimuli. To find the specific stimuli, choose the stimuli you want to associate with. This could be a sound, an image, or another sensory cue. Determine the desired response. Identify the natural response. You want to associate with the conditioned stimulus. Association through conditioning. Pair the conditioned and unconditioned stimuli. Repeatedly pair the conditioned stimulus, like a bell sound, with the unconditioned stimulus, like food, until an association is formed. Reinforce the desired response. Use rewards or positive reinforcement to strengthen the desired response to the conditioned stimulus. Discrimination training. Introduce similar but non-identical stimuli. Gradually introduce other similar stimuli but not identical to the conditioned stimulus. Reinforce discrimination. Continue to reward the response to the conditioned stimulus while ignoring or not rewarding responses to the non-identical stimuli. This phase helps in fine-tuning the response. Continuous monitoring. Evaluate and maintain discrimination. Regular assessment and reinforcement as needed to ensure that discrimination is maintained over time across different contexts. Here is a sample of our stimulus discrimination forms, which you can find on our Care Patron platform. To find our stimulus discrimination forms, go to our Care Patron platform or click on the link in the description. In our template section, we have a variety of templates and worksheets for you to use with your patients. You can filter or type in the keywords to find the worksheet. Thank you for watching our video at Care Patron. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. If you would like to see more videos like these, subscribe to our Care Patron channel or click on one of our recommended videos.